on Filter Podcast on a Thursday night. It is December tw- uh, 12th, 2019. This is going to be a pretty short one here, uh, of course. But before we get to that, hey, we got a sponsor. We got a sponsor. It is Big Lee Pillows. BigLeePillows.com. So it is the holidays, obviously. So if you want to get a nice gift, um, I actually got this, got this gift for my kids. Don't tell them yet. Although they're, they're six and two years old, um, I got a, I got my boys Eli and Logan, six and two, uh, two uh, Miami Heat embroidered embroidered is it embroidered 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 um, pillows uh, with their names on it, Eli and Logan on there. And you can do the same thing too. Just put in your promo code Ernest E A R N E S C BigLeePillows dot com, and 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 great gifts by the way to your kids, even even for. You know, your husbands or maybe or even the wives love sports. You know, they may want a team related uh, pillow on on you know uh, and board on there. You know, with their names, whatever it may be. Um, BigLeePillows dot com, great stuff. Uh, I mean, I said I got mine on on the way, and I hope you guys get yours too. Again, promo code Ernest E A R N E S T. BigLeePillows dot com. Okay, yes, we got a sponsor on the po- on both the podcasts, unfiltered this one, and then of course the Netflix podcast, which I haven't done in a while, by the way. Uh, I just. <sighs> Schedule's been changed. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that probably later on um, on, the, on the other show because uh, that'll be a little long form. This is a little short form. Um, I don't even want to hear about that. Um, I'm actually recording right now right in the middle of the uh, Jets and Ravens game. Uh, Lamar Jackson has passed Michael Vick for most, most rushing yards in a season by quarterback. No surprise there. Lamar Jackson is amazing. Um, my only concern, of course, could he hold up? I think if he holds up, this team is going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, they've, been, they've, they've been incredible. Um, they've been, they've, this team's been incredible. And he's been incredible. And he, right now... Finally, has in my opinion moved up the MVP ladder. I I was saying for the last month and a half that Russell Wilson was MVP, um, but that uh, it was a razor thin margin. And Russell Wilson had a pretty average game last week. Uh, Lamar Jackson had a great game this week, so therefore I will give the nod right now to Lamar Jackson. And, and there is maybe a little bit of a gap between the two. We'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. There's three weeks of the season left. Um, obviously, you got the Ravens playing tonight. You got the Jets. They're up 7 nothing right now. They just smoked the Jets, although I did take the Jets on the points to plus 17 um, right at the uh, at the buzzer. Um, we'll see if they, if they can just keep this cover. Um, and um, tomorrow's on filter. I'll, I'll do my uh, picks my picks all the way through. Um, we haven't been able to do the picks with Zach in a couple of weeks because his work schedule's been different lately. He's, he's working on Thursdays. And honestly, I, I, I there's really no time to record anymore. I, I, and I'll explain another, on the other podcast when I have a chance to sit and do it. Which could be tonight, we'll see. Um, but um, things have been really busy on my end. Things have changed, so we're just gonna do what we gotta do. Uh, but yeah, uh, Lamar Jackson's incredible. As I said, uh, my only concern is that he will hold up going forward because you have the Pats right now who are reeling right now. They lost, you know, three games already. Um, you know, and, and then three losses against against top tier. AFC teams. All I will say, I'm not even sure if you consider the Texans a top tier AFC team. I don't trust them at all. Um, well, they, they were one of the three losses they had um, this year. But yeah, as, as long as he holds up, as long as Lamar Jackson holds up, everything will be fine for the Ravens. Because I mean, everything he's doing is lifting the spirits of that ball club. And uh, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be very amazed with what they're doing out there. So anyway, so that's what's going on there on that end uh, of the spectrum. Uh, what else? Tomorrow night is Heat and Lakers, um, the rematch from a couple weeks ago. The Lakers won the first matchup. They remember to meet twice a year. Um, I, I have to be, I have to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the Lakers. A Twenty-one and three. Um, what they've been doing, what they've done out the gate. LeBron um, looks, looks, you know, invigorated. It's funny how like him missing the playoffs last year, being able to rest um, in the offseason for the first time, probably since his rookie year. You know where. He either have a deep playoff run or a championship run or Olympics or whatever it may be. And the Lakers have benefited now from it, from it as a result. Uh, and uh, 21-3, and three, um, I do question whether it'll hold up only because of the fact that AD, Antonio, De- Antonio, De- uh, Antonio, Anthony Davis, I don't say Antonio Davis, I'm thinking of the Patriots. No, Anthony Davis, whether he can hold up or not. And and that's, I, that's a real thing. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a real thing because he, obviously, when he's healthy, he's, one of the best players in the league. When he's not healthy, it's which is pretty common. You know, it is what it is. Um, you know, LeBron is turning thirty-five in a few weeks, and AD is you know obviously is health issues. But if they hold up, man, it's gonna be a problem. I I mean, look, I still like the Clippers overall. 
kind of love the roster. And people are saying, well, you know, people, to be like, oh, well, the Clippers, you know, they're, 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 you know, they're, you know, not playing that great. They're just kind of like middling right now in the middle of the Western Conference. But as I told you guys before the year started, the Clippers' priority is not getting the number one seed at all. They don't care about the number one seed. Their priority is making sure Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and the rest of that team is healthy. They don't need them one seed to win a championship. You know that. They can win anywhere. They can win uh, without home court advantage against any team. They don't need that. They have the deepest roster, in my opinion, in the entire league, okay? Yet they have the best defensive wings in the entire league. They're not prioritizing necessarily the number one seed. You see Kawhi Leonard doing low management. Paul George just got back from injury a few weeks ago. So it's not like the Clippers, you know, the Lakers are, are obviously taking off, and, 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 and kudos to them doing that. But will those bodies hold up by April, May, and possibly June? We don't know that, okay? And if you don't know that, you can't assume so. The Clippers at least have a deeper roster that can sustain itself. They're prioritizing rest, load management, which I, you know, whatever. I, I, I have my own issues with that personally, you know, people, uh, Kawhi and still start sitting out of games and people pay a bunch of fucking money to go to the game to see you guys play and you're sitting out of games? Nah, come on now. But other than that, they're prioritizing load management and that's what they're doing, okay? And I think they'll hold up. You know, as long as they hold up, they'll be fine. Um, like I said, I like the roster, you know, going forward overall. So, anyway, they come, they come to Miami. They're down, they're down here to Miami. The Lakers are here tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the Heat win this game. Heat been been phenomenal. Uh, start eighteen and six. I'll be some some close some uh, some games gotten t- kind of touchy last couple uh, couple games. Uh, the Chicago game a couple days uh, on Sunday when they, they pulled out late. Uh, I think it went to OT also. Uh, and the Atlanta game on Tuesday was amazing. Down six late in the game and came back went overtime and all that. Uh, I'm I'm proud of this team. This this Heat team is fun to watch. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, they're just doing what they got to do, and they're winning games, and you'll see if they, if they can bounce back and beat the Lakers team, beat, beat the Lakers, uh, this, uh, this coming, um, uh, th- 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 on Friday. So, uh, finally, before I go, because it's going to be a shorter pod today, um, AEW NXT week, I, 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 look, at some point I'm going to probably stop, uh, stop talking about the, uh, the, uh the ratings on this, because it, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, although it's fun to talk about, because, it, you know, I love pro wrestling, I love covering pro wrestling, I love... You know, obviously, Smarks and all that, whatever. I, I love talking about it. I mean, I, I know people look at me and say, like, "What the fuck are you talking about? What, what, what the rating? What do you care? Who cares?" I, I care. You know, I care because I want to see what, how this team, how AEW is doing against NXT and against the the, the 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 WWE business model and all that. And they ended up in a tie this week. A tie. I believe the number was seven hundred and seventy-eight thousand views for both NXT. And AEW. Let me make sure that real quick. I want to get that right because, uh, uh, you know, I just want to. Um, why is it every time I pull on my Twitter, it comes out slower? Yeah, seven hundred seventy-eight thousand ratings for each thousand for each of the shows. Um, AEW show. I I'm almost done with it. I'm actually still watching it. I'm at the end of the, of, of the show, but I thought the show was was really. I thought last night's show was fantastic. Um, by AEW. Um, Jericho crushed it again. Uh. MJF's by the way, MJF's Maxwell Jacob Freeman's uh, promo in um, in the first hour was phenomenal. Uh, Jericho, of course, doing you know him and Moxley together in the, in the ring early, and then of course Jericho comes out later on with uh, you know Jake Hager and not you know basically pulls out to, you know tells Tony Giovanni and Excalibur to move away, and him and Jim Ross they do commentary for the Sa- Sammy Guevara match against Luch- Luchasaurus and all that. It was really good stuff, Jer- dude. Jericho is fucking crushing it, dude. Chris Jericho, I, I look, I been a fan of his for a long time obviously you know i remember watching him in, in wcw in, in 97 98 and then him coming to wwe in 99 and i remember him you know you know doing very well the first couple of years in wwe to 2002 and then i stopped watching like i said for 17 years um and so i like i can't speak on the last 17 years but what i can't speak on is this is that J- chris jericho right now at 48 years old <laughs> closing on 50 is phenomenal forget the you know look the in-ring's in-ring he's older but the promos, the putting guys over, the, 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 the talk speak, it's amazing what he's doing. He is doing phenomenal things. Um, and uh, this, is, this is a great run. He, I mean, last week he did the uh, lexicon of the La Champion and all that. Phenomenal stuff what he's doing, man. I'm, I'm really, really uh, uh, proud of, you know, to be a Jericho fan. And, dude, that, that guy is just crushing it. He's a hard worker. He's a podcaster doing the AEW thing. He's going to be going to Japan in January, I believe. Uh, he's also has the band Fozzie. He's a busy guy and he's still still crushing it. So, 
Uh, good stuff there. Well, again, AW NXT tying the reins this week. And you know, r- real quick before I go, wrestling Twitter is fucking annoying. These some of these fans are annoying. If, if you if you don't like AW, don't watch it. Okay, if you don't like WWE, don't watch it. But for the love of God, stop bitching about it. Like, stop already. Enough with the bullshit. Seriously, enough with the bullshit. Okay, I'm out. Follow me on Twitter, of course, at each person seven. Again, this episode sponsored by Big League Pillows. Uh, BigLeagPillows.com. Promo code Ernest, E R N E S T. Uh, get your pillows now. Um, and pick a team and get it. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Take care. To the next one. Uh, and I'm out. Later.